What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sword Channel. Today's video will be an interview with Jason Plays that was clipped from a podcast we hosted Saturday night for the No Man's Sky five year anniversary celebration. Jason has been a very influential content creator for No Man's Sky ever since I've been playing this game. He has put out tons of videos that has been super helpful to, for new players and even veteran players with tips, tricks, ship locations, and just a fun all-around content to watch. If you're not subscribed to Jason Plays, please check out his links and all his social information in the description of this video. And if you enjoy the content, please help out the channel by like, sharing, and subscribing to the Sword channel. Jason Plays, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, and I just got taken <laughs> rapture baby we snatched you right <laughs> out of that green room how you doing man abducted it was so good yeah, abducted or raptured one of the two yeah feels good though i like it heck yeah dude i'm gonna tell you what man you have got one of the most fun voices for youtube i swear man i because most people know me that know me personally know i listen to a lot of streams and I, usually i have my phone in my pocket and my earbud in while i'm at work listening to content and you're one of the more fun voices in content creation, man. It's like you're in a just perpetually happy mood all the time, dude. How are you doing, how man? Can, and thank you for that, dude. How can you? Yeah, how can you not be happy? I, I get to play No Man's Sky with everyone else who just. I don't know about you. I mean, I I probably run into maybe two or three people over the last like four years that have been jerks. Other than that, yeah, I love everybody I play with. It's amazing. It really, man, the positivity just runs them away, dude. It's like, you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody that's a, that's a hater anymore. It's just really, they, they get they get washed out pretty quick, man. But heck yeah, yeah man. Well, and I, I think that was, I mean, personally, that's what I tried to do. Because I, when I, when I kind of got into it, it was, it wasn't really on the full-on. I didn't get it into No Man's Sky when it first launched, and it was just, haterade everywhere yeah <laughs> it no. was i got in a couple years after and that's when everyone was just you know it was kind of still you still had a lot of haters around but it was shifting over to be positive and i was like look you know we need happier people in here because you got to promote you know the the fun aspect of it because is, is it going to be perfect no no game is perfect but there's so much cool stuff going on and someone needs to get in here and point it out to everyone else. Exactly, dude. Exactly, man. Well, listen, man. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. Guys, uh, KJ's dropping links in the chat like like it's hot, like it's candy bars, guys. If you Listen, if any of these content creators, you see these links popping up, guys, click them anyway. If you see it pop up in chat, click it. Make sure you subscribe to these people, guys. If you're not, get it done today. Uh, double check because YouTube unsubscribes people from people. Dude, I, I resubbed to Jason's, uh, good God, it was like five or six months ago. And I'm like, why am I not, Jason quit streaming or doing stuff? And and I, I went to look, and I'm like, crappy, he's not in my following list. I went, had to go back and resubscribe. I'm like, yeah, so YouTube does that, guys. So make sure, check these links as they're popping up in the live chat. Make sure you're subscribed to these, these content creators, guys. And if you're not, go do it, guys. Go do it, man. Yes, Dude. Not only that, not only that. Anytime you see, uh, I make it my job. If I see anybody streaming on my, my homepage, I will go in and I will at least spend five minutes and hit the like button. Seriously, if you guys haven't hit the like button yet, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Hit it because YouTube seriously pays attention. They don't, they'll try to, you know, gauge the viewers and that's okay, but they will really pay attention to those likes. So hit that like button. That helps more than anything else. Oh, I agree, man. Thank you, man. Now, Dude, I'm telling you what, man. I've been following your channel just as long as everybody else's, man. It's like, because you used to do um, uh, ship locations and certain and different. Yeah. yeah, I remember your hunting S-Class ship videos, man. And like, man, I went and got a lot of the ships that you picked out, you know, that you have videos for, man. That, to, to be fair, man, I've always been one of them people like, how do you do something? I 
I'll Google it or I'll YouTube it. You know what I mean? Just yeah. I'll, well, even working on a car or something, I'll pull a YouTube video up, see how to repair it. You know, <laughs> something like that. It's like, but that's how I was with No Man's Sky, man. It was like, how do I do this? Or how do I get that? Or I want a better one of these. Let's go search it out. And man, it pop up a Jason plays video of, uh, of a, of a certain color holler or, or how to do this. And man, it, it was great well, content. And that's, and that is how I started because the, going back to, you know, trying to share the, that, the joy I was on the, uh, the no man's sky coordinates exchange, the NMS coordinates exchange. You guys probably hear that all oh, the time. Yeah. From me always checking there and i realized it's like look these guys are posting these amazing ships but no one's paying attention no one's checking them out and these things are cool so i'm going to show it off on my channel and of course i always go through and i say hey look this is where i found it go check it out hit the like button give them a good you know give them a, a thumbs up over there and also you guys could get a cool ship now thank you sean murray for putting out the living ship update and ruined all that I mean, oh i shouldn't say ruined all that yeah, but he made changed all the locations and so if you yep. go to yeah <laughs> nine out of ten of my videos they're old now and it's like oh come on <laughs> yep oh i know um i i think i did a stream the other day um i started out you know how it is with live streams you you see a squirrel and go off from left field but i that's was one of the things i was doing on stream the other day was uh going to the Cordex exchange on first wave exotics and testing and see if they still were first wave, you know, or still first wave on PC. And, um, yeah, yeah, man, just seeing what you got from when you scrapped them. Cause some of them will give you like uh three S class mods in a, in a module or a, a ex expansion slot, or they'll give you two expansion slots and two or one, uh, S class module. So, you know, I was trying to test out and see where the, where the sweet spot was where you got the because i've had have had them where they give you three modules and two augmentations and it's like yeah that's the great one you know buy those and scrap them <laughs> if you're getting out squids, of shit man go after those squids yeah <laughs> but man dude uh definitely definitely you you are one of the one of the uh more successful youtube channels that i follow man you you have uh you came a long way man uh because man i remember when i followed you you're you wouldn't you were you've grown a lot this past five years, man. You you've really done a lot with your channel, bud. Uh, congratulations for that, man. Thank you for all your hard work and the content. Well, I would say uh, I, I I will say thank you, but it, it's up to the community. I love it. I mean, and, uh, over the last two years is where I've seen the majority of my growth, and it's because the community is here. We're we're uh, circling back over to the positive, and I think with that. Everyone's channel is exploding. You're seeing everyone coming up, you know, Survival Bob, Zane, Craze, everybody. We're all getting up there, and it's because everyone's doing that hard work. And it's, I'd say hard work. It's more fun than anything else, and I love it. And now it's starting to catch up with everybody, and it's so great. Everyone, everyone I talk to, Survival Bob, Zane, Craze, uh, Hawks Gaming, everybody, Beeble Bum, they're all just so excited, and it's just it's infectious heck yeah man and dude i'm telling you man i'm so glad you went with the face cam on your streams and content dude it just the <laughs> voice is cheerful but you man. do man you really really I, the the expressions on your face it just I, it, i'm telling you there's only one other content creator <laughs> there's only one other content creator out there that i can tell you that if you it, it doesn't you could be the most cynical curmudgeon there is that creator will make you smile and that's game mode and you're like you're like is second in the list to game mode as far as like it don't matter how bad a day you're having put that content on you're going to be smiling or feeling better about your day but just hanging out you know it's really really man you're, you're a breath of fresh air I, i'm honored to be on that list because i guarantee you the biggest thing i saw was like should I do a face cam? I did get to 100,000 <laughs> subscribers, and now I'm going to lose about 58,000 oh. of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, let me get on with the interview, man. Uh, okay. what what is What's your hype level for Frontiers, man? How hyped are you about the new update? I, uh, publicly, I'm trying to be very calm. I'm trying to be relaxed. I'm trying to be cool cucumber internally i am so hyped up for it because i don't know if you've noticed i mean and maybe it means nothing because i i pick up on the little nuances but 
when he when they put out the the five year anniversary trailer, I was like, you know what, this is very cool. I wish I was that cool at editing. But in the last ten seconds, fifteen seconds, they throw up the just tease for Frontiers, mm-hmm. and it's the exact same setup they used for Beyond. Yep. And Beyond was huge. I mean, yes, that was. <laughs> I love Beyond, but it was. It, it was the most painful year for me because I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys were around, but in 2018, we had, I believe it was Bite Beat, that, that update in January, and then we had nothing until mm-hmm. August. So we had mm-hmm. like eight months of nothing. Oh, yeah. And I was just starved. I was like, come on, let's go do something. And then they hit us with the Beyond update, and it was massive. And so in my mind, I'm like, well, if they're going to use the Beyond, you know, setup for uh-huh. Frontiers. It's going to be huge. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude, that Beyond trailer was what, 20? I think it was, I think I was watching it earlier today. 24 seconds, something like that. 24, yeah. 28 seconds. Dude, I, I look back and I remember the thousands of hours of content and live streams that people did off a 28 second trailer, dude. It was freaking amazing, <laughs> yes. dude. I remember Cobra going like four hour podcast pausing every second of that trailer and going over everything in that tra- it was man i'm telling you dude you well there was so much into it man i mean <laughs> we we had a, we had we had the space anomaly before but it was literally just a round room with polo and nada on two little areas and that was it it was like literally you could walk around it was like a 10 foot room and then you see a trailer and it's like what is the what this is a huge area now. What is this? Heck yeah, man. Now, let me ask you this. Now, um, when did you get into being a content creator on YouTube? What 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 was the what was your origin story, man? What uh, when you sat down one day and said, "You know what? I'm going to do videos or I'm going to live stream. I'm going to do this on YouTube." What what led you to that decision and what was your uh, motivations? Uh, well, you could say that the my journey's been going for 12 years, 13 oh. years now. I saw PewDiePie and I'm like, you know what? He can play video games on the internet and he has a ton of people interacting with him. He does it for his job. I can do that. I can do that. But I never did. Never love did. Pewds. And hey, so yeah. I'm just like, yeah, I love PewDiePie. And so I, I see him doing it. And I'm like, anybody, I could do that. Of course, I didn't do that. You know, for years, I was just like, I could, but I'm not going to yet. I need to get a, I need to have a a fancy studio. I need to have like a million dollar microphone. I need to have a PC that can like basically run NASA in order to do all this stuff. You know, I set the expectation really, Mm -hmm. really high. And so you'll never, you'll never start because you think you need all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And finally in, uh, in 2017, well, technically, I, I think I made my channel in 2016, December of 2016. Didn't put up any videos at all. I finally just sat down and said, this is going to be my channel. I was trying to be creative, and I was like, you know what? Really creative name. Something interesting that everyone's going to love. Jason Plays. Very boring, but it worked. It worked for me. I don't, you know, it worked. And then I sat down, and I waited till March of 2017, a few months later, and I said, you know what? I have this thing. I, you know, I'm still, I have a job. I have a day job. I'm going to come home one weekend and I'm going to, I'm going to play a game and just cut videos and whatever happens, happens. I had a little laptop that, you know, I, I had a, uh, what was it? Uh, a lapel mic, a little $5 microphone that you can pin to your nice. shirt. <laughs> and I, I literally plugged it right into my laptop and I recorded there. I didn't worry about any audio levels. It's terrible. I think my videos are still up. I played Wolfenstein. And that was it. And I just went for it. And I said, like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna make a promise to myself. I'm going to put one video up every single day. I don't, I don't care if I get one view or if I get a million views. I'm going to put one video up a day. Nice, I just nice. did that for a year. Yeah. And that's how it started. I was just like, you know what? I wanted to do it. I've been thinking about it for years. I'm going to do it. And that's how it started. Heck yeah, man. Now, let me ask you my follow-up to that. When did you... When were you aware of No Man's Sky? What led you to uh, get the game, and what led you to start making content on the game? Now, I think we covered I some of it with the uh, with the content, but yeah, the what, oh, well, I, I mean, was, I was yeah. immediately attracted to No Man's Sky when it got announced. Seeing Sean Murray up on the uh, Sony stage for E3, I think it was 2014 or 2015. Yeah. 
watching the video, watching him just go through and play this game, I was like, dude, that is my game. Because I'm a big Minecraft player. I love Minecraft. And so I'm like, that is like Minecraft in space. I want it. <laughs> and then in uh, August of 2016, I'm like, guys, I'm going to I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to play it. Hey, then yeah, everyone man. I knew, everyone I knew said, uh, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should <laughs> wait on this game. <laughs> and so I was like, wait, 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 wait. Are you guys saying that it's not good? And I was like, and they they just kind of told me like, mm, you, you think it's Minecraft in space? It's really not. And yeah. then I just see all of the hate jump onto it. Oh. I was like, okay, maybe not. I'll just wait on that one. Yeah. And so I didn't play anything in No Man's Sky until the uh, the next update, which came out in July of 2018, I believe. Mm -hmm. 2018. And so that's when it, it came to Xbox, and it was uh, it was like okay. And I looked at it, and it was like oh. You can do a th uh, third person camera. I like that. So I just got it off of, on a whim. I was already doing my uh, my channel. I had been posting videos on my channel for about a year and a half. With like, I think I, at that point, when I started playing No Man's Sky, I had 95 subscribers. So if you're one of the 95, I mean, <laughs> hats off to you, because I was just making some terrible videos, but, and I appreciate it. You were suffering with me. Man, I, then I, I, I yeah. got sucked in. Oh, <laughs> it was so good. What, you, yeah, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, I'm, I can imagine the people I've made sit through my reload for an S class streams, dude. Yeah, you know, four hours of trade station reloads, man. And you talk about some champs, man. They hung out through the whole four hours hanging out with me in the chat, but heck dude, yeah, dude. I had to when I did those ship hunting videos, I had to make sure to let everyone know. I'm like, look, I sat here for eight hours. It's the video's only ten minutes long. Mm -hmm. But I sat here for eight hours. So guys, get ready for eight hours. Oh yeah. Awesome <laughs> sauce, man. Well, let me ask you this. What is one of your most memorable moments in No Man's Sky? Or in, in content creation for No Man's Sky? Most memorable moment. I'd say maybe memorable for me it's more of a it was a mindset mentality because before it was uh when i was co creating content i was just throwing up anything i was wa i was playing uh wolfenstein i was playing prey i was playing any game i can get my hands on i'm just throwing it up on the stream then i started playing no man's sky and it was fun and i was putting out all kinds of videos on hey this is how you do this this is how you do a glitch for the refiner way back in the day when we could this is how you'd find these cool ships. And finally, it was I was playing on Xbox exclusively. I didn't even have a PC at the time. Well, I had a, a laptop, but I couldn't even run No Man's Sky. There's no way that thing would have melted. Yeah. But I was playing on on, uh, on Xbox, and I just told everyone, I said, hey, look, if you guys want to play, here's my gamer tag. And I had, uh, within a week, everyone was sending me messages. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it. You make some cool videos. And that's always great to hear because sometimes you don't feel like you make the, a great video. And sometimes you do. You think it's a great video and you put it out and no one watches it. And you're like, well, okay, I, I appreciate it anyway. But then I had a, uh, I would, I can't even, I, I wouldn't even be able to s say how old they were. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess 12 years old. A 12 year old messaged me on, on uh, Xbox, uh, on the Xbox live service, literally just a voice message from their headset. And they just said, I want to I want to tell you that you're uh, awesome and your ship videos are the best and I will watch you till the day I die. Nice. And that that to me was just like holy cow. I mean, it's one thing when you know whenever you get a, like a text or something like that, but when someone they took the time. I mean, they literally had to look up my my gamer tag, add me as a friend and then send me that message. It was really cool and that, that was epic. probably the the first time I felt that and heard that and so I was like this that's, that's my my favorite memory my heck favorite memory yeah man heck yeah well let me ask you this what's your hopes for the future of the game my hopes for the future of no man's sky i'm i'm a little bit torn because i i feel like there's so much potential in the game but there's a part of me that just says the game is so stretched thin between xbox one playstation 4 and then you have the next generation PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. PC's right in, right there on the cutting edge. And so you could feel like when they put out the uh, the next generation update and the Origins update last year in November of last year, you saw they were like, oh yeah, we could do this and that. And it was amazing. And you're like, 
except if you're on Xbox One or PS4. So I'm, I'm hoping that we get way more quality of life improvements. Sure. You know, something like that, you know, make the game run better because I don't know. I don't know if how many people in your audience play it on either console or PC or what have you, but yeah, when I jumped from Xbox One to PC, because I finally, when my channel started growing, I'm like, okay, I better get serious and actually get a PC that I can edit videos on and stuff. And at that point, I was like, okay, well, I can play on PC as well. And I had a powerful enough computer to do it. And just noticing the difference on how fast it loads, how cleaner it feels, how more responsive it is. And I was just going from Xbox One to PC mm-hmm. and then going from, you know, from PC and I jumped over to the next generation update just to see what it was like on Xbox Series X. And it was just like, whoa, this is, you don't need to add any content. The game feels brand new just by making it run better. Yeah. And by making it uh, just cleaner and you can add more vegetation and you know that it just looks way more full and flush. And oh, so yeah. for me, I hope, yeah, I hope that what they can do is they can find a way. And that's, that's, that's why I'm torn because how many people aren't even lucky enough? Like I still don't have a PS5 and I've been trying to get a PS5, but how many people haven't jumped onto the next generation? They're still playing on PS4 and Xbox one. And if you just say, look guys, we have to cut it off here because there is a lot we want to do, but we're limited by the older consoles. We can't, we can't cram all this onto a PS4 because it's just the power is not melt. there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're going to have to, you know, w- go underwater or, or work in an igloo because it's just going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Get Sony to come out and with so, a water cool adapter for the PlayStation ex- 4. <laughs> exactly, dude. Oh, yeah. And so I, I want them to go and do all of that, but I'm afraid that it's going to be limited and they're going to have to. And I every game does this at some point other than Minecraft. I mean, you can run Minecraft on your phone. Yeah. But. I mean, there's going to be a point where they're going to say, look, guys, we can't do it. I mean, we want to do this, this and this, but we're limited. Yeah. And so for me, it's either do that or come up with No Man's Sky 2 or whatever the sequel is going to be, you know, No Man yeah. Forever or whatever. And just say, look, guys, we, we we learned a lot. The game is not even close to what it was five years ago. There's If you were to take someone five years ago and show them No Man's Sky today, they wouldn't oh. believe you. They'd be like, this is the same game. It's not a sequel. This is the same game. I can't even yeah. imagine all the work they had to do to the, the game engine to get it to where it is now. Oh, I know. I know. And so how many how many lessons did they learn? And they're like, look, we when we first made the game engine to make this, you know, the procedural generation, we thought we needed all this extra stuff and we really didn't. Or we thought we didn't need this and now we need to add a whole bunch in and we're basically duct taping this all together and it's barely running. Yeah. And so how much power, how much more could they improve it by just saying, look, we're going to start fresh, No Man's Sky forever. And this is going to be basically a No Man's Sky 2, you know, 2, a sequel to No Man's Sky. Yeah, yeah. Take it everything that's good and we're going to cram it into a new game. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. Well, let me, uh, let, I got um, uh, another guest I promised I'd get pulled yeah, yeah. in. Uh, so, at seven, I talk so. way too much, man. Oh, no, you're good, dude. <laughs> Listen, hey, you're welcome to hang out. I got one more question for you, man. I've asked everybody so far yeah. this. If you have one question that you could ask Sean Murray, what would it be? One question. Yeah, if you had the opportunity, you you was somewhere and you met in the elevator and you have opportunity for one question, what would it be? stumped him guys was it <laughs> was it worth it five years ago do you do you think it would have been worth it if you could have just shown all the reactions to your games to sean murray to yourself five years ago do you think he would have been happy or sad that's a good question i'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be happy but i have no idea yeah i would Heck love yeah, to man. know that all right guys First, I would like to thank Jason Plays for taking the time out of his busy schedule and rearranging his Saturday plans to come be a part of the five-year anniversary No Man's Sky podcast. He was an awesome guest. I had a bunch of amazing guests that night. Guys, I hope you liked the edited videos and the clips from those podcasts or from that podcast. And I hope you look forward to seeing the rest of them. I got several more videos in store for you guys. I hope to see you all in the next video. You guys have a great day. 
Play. 